Thank you for tuning in to Big City Chronicles. Serge here with the talented Rex Smith. How are you doing today, Rex? Well, it's exciting to be this close to you, Serge. There's a surge of excitement. Well, I thank you. That is the best thing I've heard all day. That's the best compliment I've gotten all week. <laughs> well, Rex, we are delighted to have you. I, uh, of course, best know you as Daredevil, who yes. co-starred with Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno in The Trial of the Incredible Hulk. Uh, but you've done quite a number of other things. I know you were uh, the, the star, uh, the lead for uh, Street Hawk. That is right. Um, it was a uh, universal, you know, two sound stages at Universal, the Ultimate Universal Tour. Um, mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, in the background thing, I was I screen tested to be the original Batman. So wow. Warner Brothers wanted me and Tim Burton wanted uh, Michael Keaton. And he won that argument, but uh, it was down to the wire with screen tests and everything. It was great. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, we're, del we're, we're, we're delighted that you were a daredevil. Well, I, I am, too. I, I'm rather proud of that. I tell you, there, it is a, I got five kids, and being a superhero uh, can be a great, uh, you know, get them to bed thing. Like, I, you know, don't, don't make me pull a daredevil <laughs> on you. But I remember my son Gatsby was about, uh, I guess he was five. And he came home from school and he goes, Dad, I'm the son of Daredevil. I go, how do you know? He goes, well, you know, all the kids were on the swing set and I closed my eyes and I walked right through it and I didn't get hit. And I went, okay, I think we got to talk. So, so, uh, <laughs> He's developing a superpower. Yeah, is this well, a perceived? Was, yeah, his, 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 with his eyes closed. So I would chase him around the house would just kind of peek it through my eye, give him the Daredevil treatment, but uh, they'd run to bed. <clears throat> oh, that's great. And you've done quite a number of other things as well. You have quite a history uh, of... Well, things. I'm a platinum recording artist, six albums, Columbia. got a platinum and a gold. Um, I started out, I got signed to 20 years old to Columbia Records, and um, I was managed by Aerosmith Management, and I toured with Ted Nugent for two years, opening. I had a band called Rex. If you look on Amazon, whatever, I, my six albums are all available. First two albums are hard rock, kind of Van Halen type. And uh, I played the last concert with Leonard Skinner. That was me and Skinner and Ted Nugent. And we were playing Madison Square Garden three days later. Was having beers with Ronnie Van Zant, who was a good Southern gentleman like myself. And I uh, said, I'll see you at the Garden in three days. Never saw him again. Uh, the plane crashed. I took one of the greatest bands in rock and roll. But I was 21 years old, and I was headlining Madison Square Garden that night. Wow. Um, some people saw me. Bruce and Carol Hart asked me to do a movie called Sooner or Later. Uh, did a song you take my breath away and woke up uh, was the teen idol so here I was all the illegitimacy I'd worked for as a rock and roller so I'm a teen idol and for about a year and a half it was sort of solo Beatlemania around the world I was the most popular young man from from Tokyo to Spain to Germany you name it and um, I knew that anything that happened that fast disappeared that quick I got into Broadway and did that for 30 years with Pirates wow. of Penzance with Kevin Klein, Linda Ronstadt, um, did Danny Zuko in Greece twice, Sunset Boulevard. I mean, six Broadway shows and six national tours. So that's been a big piece of my life. Um, currently, right now, I'm doing a show called uh, Confessions of a Teen Idol. It's a one-man one show that I got all the video of everything in my life from all the rock and roll days to the Teen Idol news feeds of girls in, you know, fainting in ambulances and screaming crowds to my Broadway legitimate work to right up to today. So it's, uh, I've been playing it in New York quite a bit at Studio 54 below. And um, it is, uh, it's been a, a real experience to become almost like you, Serge, being a filmmaker. Yeah. Because I had to create all the film behind mm -hmm. me and it plays in a continuous, uh, uh, it, it never stops. Once I push the go button, mm -hmm. it's a 70 minute show and there you go. So that kind of brings me to today, mm -hmm. you know? Is that, is that still in the works? Or no, is that still <clears throat> I'm out doing it. Mm -hmm. So you can see, you just go to my fan page at, on Facebook. That's really where I just, you know, put stuff up. But you can go to YouTube and look under uh, Rex Smith, uh, 54 Below, and you, there's a dozen good videos. You know, just this, um, the amazing thing about the hits on YouTube and such, there's a Daredevil, you know, with Lou and I, and it's um, 8 million hits on uh, a three minute piece or something. So the popularity of especially Lou and uh, Association of the Daredevil, it's, um, you know, I'm rather proud to be part of the Marvel Universe. I mean, it, they debate whether I'm a planet or not, you know, there's, mm -hmm. but, but uh, uh, I was, it was quite a thrill to pass muster with Stan Lee when he mm -hmm. was uh, 
he was the owner and you know of Marvel itself. We you know, we were delighted, and I know as you know, Lou Ferrigno played a character in our first film. Right. So it was a delight to then, of course, you know, invite you guys as co-stars, you know, to come join us on the sequel, um, to be on the Evil Council. So how did it feel instead of being playing a superhero this time, you're playing a, a villain with us? I love playing villains, and also this was a bit Mel Brooks villain, villainy, and uh, right down to the Hitler on ice bit. <laughs> so um, it is. It's a lark. It's fun to be. The great joy I find as a performer and actor and such is just going headfirst into anything that's put in front of you. Um, I've never been one to shy away from from uh, sending myself up. So you know, just a good bit of comedy. If you can put a smile on somebody's face and make a day a little mm -hmm. brighter, what a cool way to Absolutely. go! Absolutely, that's that's what we're all about. Yeah. yeah. Well, Rex, we were delighted to have you. We really appreciate that. We hope you enjoyed Rex Smith. And, and in, in the, the meantime, meantime make, make a, a difference, difference where, where you can. can.